Well, hello, Rolando. Welcome. Hello, good evening. Well, hello, Jackie. How are you? Fine, thank you, teacher. Yes, I'm arriving to my house. I will <laughs> okay. my camera in some minutes. Okay, no problem, no problem. Thank All you, right. teacher. Let me see. So you're driving right now, Jackie? No, teacher. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Let me see. Hello, Flor. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Okay. Oh, are you driving? No, I I own the car. My husband is driving. Oh, okay. It sounds like uh, very echoey, right? That's why I asked. You sound yeah. like you're far, far away. <laughs> I am far, far away. Yeah, right. Okay. I'm here and I can participate. Just, just I cannot turn off the camera yet. Okay, no problem, no problem. I understand. Hello, Juan Jose. How are you? All right, great. Nice to see you here. Hello, Fredis. Good evening, teacher. All right, welcome, welcome. All right, welcome. I wish I could be outside like you, Juan Jose. I wish I could, right? Unfortunately, it's too hot here <laughs> for me to go outside. I, I hope that this is not raining <laughs> because I am in the garden. Okay. I am in, in the... Um, my um backyard front house's yard daughter i am in the house's daughter <laughs> oh, okay my my daughter's house yes because in my house i i don't have a wi-fi internet okay okay well at least you're right there with your daughter and you're connecting right yes. okay so almost, are you almost almost 15 days Okay. Wow. Right. Are you connected? Are you with your phone right now? No. In this moment, with uh, my computer. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me see. Well, Freddy's the what you sent me at the end was very good. All right. What you sent me was much much better. I hope you saw the difference. The difference yeah. from from what you were doing earlier to the one you sent me. Uh, more re more recently, right? Okay. Let me let me get started and thank you for joining. Hello Diana, welcome. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. All right. Now I sent um I sent all of you the homework back. 
remember when we when we do grammar and stuff like that I will, there's some activities that as long as you do them all i have to do is look to see if you did them like the swat analysis and those if you did them then i'm i put it down that you did it right but this when it deals with grammar then i will check it very more definitely right because um th those require a little bit more uh, a little bit more checking than just something that you write on your own, like the SWOT analysis. If you did the SWOT analysis, I just saw it and I marked it down that you did the activity. And but the one for for grammar, I checked every once, every single one of you, I checked whether it was today in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening before class. Right? I made sure that I finished everyone. Remember, it was a lot, right? It was individual except for one group that was in three and they did 24 so i had to check 24 right so it was a lot of a lot of checking yeah yeah hasta luciado estaba de tanto tantas oraciones right? <laughs> i think i even made a mistake with blanca por glenda right i was like yeah la de glenda ya la había revisado de la mediodía right uh, two o'clock or something like that right but um um Thank you, Blanca, for doing it, right? And I gave you the observations, and so did you, Freddy, and Diana, right? And the ones that did it, Carlos and uh, Jarvin. Hello, Jarvin. Hello, teacher. How are you doing? All right. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Hello, Carlos. And uh, well, thank you for doing it, and that just gives you more practice right it gives you more practice and more analysis when it comes to grammar structure right grammar structure all right but today we're going to begin what unit what unit are we going to begin Freddy's? let me check <laughs> check <laughs> it's the last one yeah, the last one, right? Unless you want to do uh, again for more. <laughs> uh, man, we want to add more to it, right? Another day till Friday next week, or what? <laughs> when I'm asked extra. All right. So, what unit are we on? Unit. Let me see. We are on page two. I'm going to start number four. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Yes, we're going to start, just like Dana said, begin or start unit four. Unit four, right? On page 33. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're going to begin on page 33. And this is unit four dealing with loyalty right we're still going to be looking at a lot of um, terminologies in relation to branding in business but this one is about brand awareness right dealing with the product brand awareness and we have a little bit of vocabulary if you look at page 33 if you look at page 33 at the bottom, it says eight ways to gain more attention for your business. I have already taken that information out and it's a lot, a lot of reading. So I did was grab the main area or the main definition of the, um, of the eight ways to gain. And I put it in two slides instead of having like 12 pages, all right, of reading. So I only did the main parts of each point, which, which are eight. We're going to look at that, and then you're going to do an activity in pairs also on page 34. On page 34, the next page, you have like a little graph, and I will show it to you here. Let me share it. Okay, let me, can you see the screen? Can you see? Yes, teacher. Okay, it is as you answer. Can you read, please? Yes, teacher, I can. All right, great. It is, can you read, please? Okay. Mm -hmm. Unit four, Loyal, loyalty, loyalty, brand, awareness, vocabulary. 
Awareness, awareness. Awareness, vocabulary. Group activities. Uh, Thursday, October uh, 4th, 4th, 14th. Mm -hmm. 14th. Excellent, very good, yes. 14th, uh, 2021. Teacher, Mr. Henry in intermediate three, class 21. Very good, excellent, right? Excellent. So we are beginning the last unit. This unit is going to be five days, okay? Just five days, and we are finished. And then we have to meet one more time on Thursday to finish the class that uh, we didn't get to finish for the uh, time requirements by Insa four, okay? I thought they would tell me, no, Henry, go ahead. I see they have a pero Insa four dijo, no, 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 no. No tiene que reponer, so. Uh, we're going to do that on Thursday, all right? So I have to, we will meet again on Thursday. And that will be the last day, hopefully, right? Hopefully, we have any setbacks, no more setbacks. All right, so um, that is going to be the main topic for today. We're also going to do a little speaking activity that I have down here right here at the, in the left corner. So let's begin. But before we begin, I have to do the attendance. Let's do the attendance real quick. At least you know where we're going to begin today. Let me take the attendance. All right, uh, Abigail. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Beatriz. Beatriz, okay, not connected. Blanca. Present. Okay, thank you. Okay, Brenda. Okay, I know you're here. Carlos. Carlos. I'm here present with you. All right, great, thank you. Diana. Present. Okay, thank you. Edwin. Edwin. Okay, no answer. Flor. Present. Okay, thank you. Francisco. Good evening. Hey. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Thank you. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Freddy. All right, thank you. Glenda. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Iris. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Jackie. I'm here. Okay. Jarvin. Present teacher. All right. Jennifer. Jennifer, okay, no answer. Juan Jose. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Miguel. Miguel, okay, no answer. Fabio. Fabio, okay, no answer. Rolando. Rolando. Okay, no answer. Janari. Janari. Okay, no answer. All right, let's continue. Let me check. Okay, let's continue with this and let's begin. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, and by the way, um, yesterday I sent everyone's grades to the administrative platform. So everyone's grades are already in the system, okay? The good thing is that everybody did it before 12 o'clock last night. So everyone had finished homework three before midnight. Very good, very good, excellent. And some of you did everything already. 
Excellent. Very good. Let's continue. All right. Can can you begin, please? Mm. Juan Jose. Okay. Let me let me help you. Hold on. Let me make okay. this a little bit bigger for you. All right. Uh, we'll be able to uh, destroy different stages of a product brand awarenesses. Continue. Okay, and number one, let's start. Sula Small Business Invest of the Racing Brand Awarenesses. Brand Aware awarenesses. Awareness. Awareness. Can you name a pay of strategies to increase a product brand awareness? Okay. Can you name a pair of strategies, right? So, okay. to increase a product's brand awareness. What do you think? Should, here's the question, should, right? Should a small business invest on raising brand awareness? Should a small business invest on raising brand awareness? Should they? Remember, we talked about brand awareness is where you bring the, the your logo, your slogan, right? Your brand to bring it up to to the people to see that it's attractive. Is sure. mm -hmm. in my opinion, I think they, they could and they could not because let's say if it, they have if it, they don't have the vision to grow up and they don't I don't think they don't need to invest in anything, but they, they look if they look to be something bigger or better in the future yeah okay okay maybe wait a little bit longer right in, in when you get more resources or more income all right thank you for your input phrase anyone else should a small business invest on raising brand awareness what do you think diana Hello, Diana. Yes, I'm here. Okay, can you give me your input? Uh, I don't understand the, the question. Okay, can you read the question, please? Should a small business invest? or raising brand awareness. Okay, so what do you think? Do you think, here is saying um, should, right? A business invest on raising brand awareness. For example, uh, Coca-Cola, right? Every, in the United States, Coca-Cola, it shows like a polar bear drinking a Coca-Cola or somebody in the desert. Do you think people in small businesses should they invest, in other words, put money into something to raise brand awareness? You know, in other words, to let it be known for the public to see. Do you think they should do that? Yes. Okay. You think they should? All right. Uh, how? How should they do it? How would you do it if you had the company and you want other people to see your brand? How would you invest? What, what, what are some of the things that you would do? Okay, I could barely hear you, Diana. Okay, class, did you hear Diana? Ah, okay. Public relations. All right. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. That is one, right? Excellent. Thank you, Diana. Anyone else? Anyone else that would like to give their opinion? Okay. I'm going to call on. I think. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, teacher. I think if you want to improve your company or your brand, you have to have a good marketing team and improve your publicity for, of the product. Very good, very good, perfect, excellent, yes, excellent. That is a must, right? You should, if you want your product to be known 
or for people to become familiarized with the brand. Very good, Jarvin. Thank you. All right. Now it says uh, he mentioned one of the strategies, right? Can you name a pair of strategies to increase a product's brand awareness? Okay, Jarvin mentioned one. Here it says two. Can you name a pair? That means two, a pair of strategies to increase a product's brand awareness. Okay, everyone, I want you to write it and give me two according to page 33 of your book. Can you name a pair? This is just name. You just, like uh, Jarvin said, right? Marketing and like Diana said, public relations. That's, those are just naming. Another one can be corporate social responsibility. Okay, nice, nice. Very good. So Diana, you already did it, all right? The rest of you that um, if you do not want to speak, then you can send it to me in uh, in the in the WhatsApp. Send it to me directly to WhatsApp. Okay. Or at least send me one. You have about two minutes to send it. Okay. Thank you, Diana. Let me put your name down. Thank you for your participation. Diana and Jarvin, Jarvin and Freddy's. Okay. This will be activity number 13. This is going to be short. Activity number 13, send me the pair of strategies to increase a product's brand awareness. What do you think? What would you do if you were the owner or you were a member of the marketing team? What would you do? What type of strategy? Okay. All right, thank you. Yeah, nice one. Nice one right there. Yes, very good. Yeah, that's pretty good, Freddy's and Flor. Yes. All right, nice. Very good. Okay, Flor. Thank you. All right. <laughs> all right Blanca all right nice right all right you gave me the two okay let me write your name Blanca all right teacher I don't know if that is the right 
way to say uh, that strategy, the second strategy? Yeah, the second one, you can use it, right? You can use it. All it is is like putting emphasis. Putting emphasis is continue. Right? No paremos de hablar de esto, right? Continue to talk about strategy. Talk, talk, talk about strategy, right? Which is a momentum. It's a momentum uh, slogan. So you're okay with that, Blanca? But but I was I was thinking about uh, the the boca en boca. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Then you will say this is internal, Blanca. What you send me is internal. What you're talking about is external, right? Word word. But how can I say the boca en boca? Okay, and normally you say uh, word of mouth. Word of mouth is a slogan que se usa in business. Word of mouth. Okay, so you will say word of mouth. Mouth, like boca, mouth. All right, so I'm going to send it to you here since you send it word of mouth. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I send it to you right there. Okay, Francisco. <laughs> All right. Let me see, Jarvin. All right, very good. Let me put your name right here, Francisco. In Jarvin, you send it to me also. Maybe like for the song of the Christmas. <laughs> the Villancicon is very uh, pegajoso. I don't know how do you say pegajoso, sticky. but sticky. Sticky. Yes, mm -hmm. that would be sticky. You would write it like this. Sticky. Mm -hmm. Right? Sticky. Yes, my, my daughter would like to sing the the los peces en el río, por, por example. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, I can I can see what you what you're talking about here, right? Mm -hmm. I can't or, see what you're just or jingle bell. Yeah, right. Jingle mm -hmm. bell, different types of songs, right? Okay, very good. All right. Thank you. All right, we are going. Uh, we're going to continue. All right. Thank you for the ones that send it to me. I put your name down. All right. So thank you. All right. Let's continue. All right. Uh, read the conversation, please, Francisco. Cecilia or Lucas. Uh, where it says read the conversation. Whatever. Huh? Sorry, read, sorry. Read the conversation. Read. Ah, okay. Read the conversation and take practice it, it okay very good now francisco i want you to select uh a female classmate to read to be celia and you're going to be lucas so i want you to select okay jennifer would like to participate with you all right so go ahead jennifer and then it's you francisco okay, okay. I uh, sorry, and this is Robert okay. Disney brand of cinnamon. Cinnamon. Soda. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. It soda. It's delicious, but when I visit their farm page, I saw they only have three hundred likes. I wonder why isn't more popular. Okay, visited. 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 Very good. Excellent. So here, like, hey, I wonder why they only have why it isn't more popular, right? Okay, continue, Francisco. Okay. Uh, it is probably. It's. It's. It's probably. Okay, no. Uh, huh? Probably. Probably. Uh, probably. Okay, thank you. It is probably. Mm. An Ulnock brand. Simply put, the owners of the brand are not trying to brand hard, sorry, hard to create brand uh, 
A awareness. Okay, hold on. Create, create brand awareness. Create a brand? No, create brand awareness. Ah, create a brand awareness? No. Okay, create brand. Create. Brand. Mm -hmm. Create brand. Awareness. Awareness. For this, for this product. For their. This is very, for their, their, yes. For their product. This is very important when launching a new product. Okay. I guess you are right. Everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pet and Pepsi, but I have never seen an ad for this new soda on TV. Well, yes. Customer mm -hmm. are aware. Consumers. Consumers. Consumer. All right, consumers. Well, yes, consumers are well. Okay, are aware. Are aware? No, no, no. Are aware. Son dos palabras. Are aware yes, so. of this of this brand. These, there is these brands. Of these brands. Okay. Um and there's image. No, no, okay, no lleva S, it doesn't have an S. There and there. Images. And their images. And days in other words. This cinnamon. Cinnamon soda is correct. Yes. Yes. Uh, cinnamon soda, you are taking about new talking, talking. You are talking about need to make people recognize. Them. Okay, recognize. 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 Recognize it is to get higher. 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 Okay. Higher soda and become mm -hmm. sales. 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 Yes. Oh my god. Uh sales and become more comp competitor. Okay, competitive. 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 Very good, excellent. Very good. Thank you, Francisco and Jennifer. Okay. So we have here conversation between Celia and Lucas, right? And they're talking about different things. Cinnamon soda. Cinnamon soda. What is cinnamon? I don't know. Can you hear me? <laughs> uh -huh. Soda de canela, right? Cinnamon is canela, all right? Yes, cinnamon soda, right? Have you ever tried cinnamon soda? Uh, no, I don't think I, I don't know, right? Maybe the closest that will probably get close to this will probably be a root beer, right? Oh, yeah. yeah you remember the root beer, the soda root beer? Oh, I used to love drinking root beer and Dr. Pepper. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So this is a little bit different. Okay, let me ask the class. Have any of you drank before the American sodas, uh, Dr. Pepper or root beer? And it's not beer, it's not alcohol, okay? But as se le llama root root beer. Has anyone ever tried those sodas? They're spelled like this root beer. And um uh, Dr. Pepper. Has anyone ever tried those? No. No? No, teacher. No? What about you, Freddy? I know you have, right? Even though you could find it on the gas station Uno, they sell Dr. Pepper. Okay, there you go. All right? Dr. Pepper. All right? Yeah, they're, they're pretty good sodas, right? But cinnamon soda? Would you, what do you think about cinnamon soda? Anyone? What do you think? Would you be like, would you like to try a cinnamon soda? I'm thinking about the taste. The maybe. candy was delicious. <laughs> yeah. All right. But, but in soda, I don't know. 
right it okay. could be interesting ah okay because here in El Salvador I have taste the tropical uh, ginger soda mm -hmm. all right <laughs> and I imagine a cinnamon soda could be tasty or it delicious. could be right yeah it could be right it sounds weird right because we we think of cinnamon as something sweet right like candy and, and or put it in milk the powder right the cinnamon but in the soda i don't know right but um they're talking about ads and stuff like that here in this conversation now look at the pair work can you read please um jackie Okay, read the conversation again and answer the question. Number one, why is cinnamon soda not so popular? Okay, continue. Number two. Number two, what is an important step to consider when launching a new product? Mm -hmm. uh, three, what is Lucas' recommendation for the cinnamon soda to get more sales. Okay, so those are the questions, right? And the last one is like, hmm, what is Lucas' recommendation for a cinnamon soda to get more sales, right? And that's that. That was basically my intention in in asking this question. Can you name a pair of strategies to increase a product brand awareness? Right, this is where it's leading to. So based on the conversation, you're going to answer these three questions. Okay, you're going to do it. Do not send it to me, not this one, okay? Because this is in your book. You don't have to send me this one. But you, um, you can answer them and then I'll give you a few minutes and then I will call on three people to give me the answers and then see if there are any other answers available.
Okay, let's continue. I think that was enough time for you to answer three small questions based on a small paragraph. Okay, now, in In number one, who wants to do number one? I want you to read it and give me the answer. Who would like to me do number one? All right, go ahead, yeah. What is cinnamon soda not so popular? Mm, cinnamon. Because cinnamon soda not so popular. Because it's a unknown brand. Okay, very good. An unknown brand, right? Okay. Uh, does anyone have something else added to that? Very good, Jennifer, that is correct. Anyone have a little bit extra? Mm -hmm. Anyone have anything different? No, it's same answers, teacher. Okay, all right. The is other, it, all right. Probably. Okay. They're guessing. Yeah, it's probably an unknown brand. But what do you think? Why is cinnamon soda not so popular, right? When you ask me, Freddy's, I, I haven't tasted no cinnamon soda, right? But yeah. does it does it exist? Most likely it does, right? It probably does. Maybe yeah. not here, right? But I've never heard of it, right? Maybe it does exist. I don't know. Maybe can someone go online, Freddy's, and try to see if there's a cinnamon soda anywhere in the world, right? Yeah. The other point here is that it it has not raised enough brand awareness, right? In other words, the brand hasn't been known or hasn't been promoted anywhere right in maybe in social media or or any other um, internet sites for example yes. freddy said they sell dr pepper at puma right jackie have you seen dr pepper at uno um, yes, <laughs> okay, <I'm not> sure. <laughs> okay, that was like, well, I'm not sure, baby, right? I thought I'd see a doctor, but it was a Dr. Pepper, right? <laughs> right? So, so I, wa I was um, remembering something uh, in the last, well, in a, in a party, it was on a party mm -hmm. that I guess. Give us Dr. Pepper. Gave, Peppers gave us. There is gave us. Yeah. Gave us. Gave us Dr. Mm -hmm. Pepper, right? All right. Yes. But how popular is Dr. Pepper in El Salvador? How popular is it? It's not popular, right? It's not no. popular at all. But if you go to other parts of the world, maybe in the United States, it's very popular, Dr. Pepper, right? Now, why... Why isn't it popular here? Because it has not raised enough brand awareness, the same as cinnamon soda, right? And just like the classmate mentioned, because it, it is an unknown brand. It's unknown for the, for the majority. So you don't see it on TV, right? You don't see it on Facebook. You don't see it outside with signs. Uh, th that is what we call brand awareness. Eso se refiere brand awareness, for the public to be aware or known about such products. I found a cinnamon soda. What happened, Freddy? I found a cinnamon soda. <laughs> Can you send me a picture? Send it on the group. Uh, on the group? Let's see. Yeah. Let me look at it. Vamos a ver aquí. Cinnamon soda. <laughs> Somebody pull like, right? 
I don't know, man. It looks it's red, right? All right. So, okay, let's continue. What is number two? Who wants to do number two? Hey, teacher. Okay, go ahead, it is. What is an important step to consider when launching a new product? And for me is to, uh, to create brand awareness for the new product. Very good, excellent, perfect. Anyone else with something else? But very good, it is, that is correct. Anyone have something different? Okay, I guess we probably, you probably have about the same meaning. Number three, who wants to do number three? Uh, Juan Jose, can you do number three for us, please? Uh, okay, let me, um going to, um, um, what is Lucas' recommendation for this cinnamon soda to get more? I think that is um, uh, to make the people recognize it, to get higher size and become more competitive. Very good. Very good. Excellent, right? So the, you have to be able to recognize it, make people recognize it, to be competitive. Like we were talking about Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper is not competitive in El Salvador, right? It's not competitive in the market. They're probably, a lot of people don't even know what a Dr. Pepper soda looks like, right? Because there isn't any brand awareness. There isn't any marketing. There isn't any sponsorship. I don't like I don't I don't like the flavor of Dr. Pepper. You don't like the it's, flavor? Blanca? Yeah, it's it's too much um, sweet for me. Okay. And I hate the sweet things I don't. All right. So you you tried Dr. Pepper, right? Okay. Maybe I don't know. I've never I don't think I've ever tried one here to to compare. Is it the same with the United States, Dr. Pepper? It, huh? is, the it is the same? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, okay, Blanca, well, thank you for your input, right? So it feels that it's too sweet. So maybe a cinnamon soda would not be your favorite either, huh? <laughs> the cinnamon soda. Okay, now. Well, I love the cinnamon flavor. Oh, ah, okay. But, but I don't even, I, I can't even imagine the flavor of a soda of cinnamon. <laughs> because the cinnamon, it's, 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 it's a little spicy. Yes, so right. in a soda, I don't know. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, it might be, right? But... If there ever comes one here in the South, I will probably try it just to see, right? But mm, I don't know. I, I feel like blank. Okay. This is like two pupusas with uh, salsa negra. All right. So he says with black sauce, right? With soy sauce. Okay. How many of you eat pupusas with uh, soy sauce, with the black sauce? I don't, and I don't want to. I, I never try it. I never try it. <laughs> okay. All right. Right. Uh, what about the 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 cabbage with mayonnaise or vinegar? I prefer with vinegar. Vinegar. All right. All right. Very good. Very good. Spicy or not spicy? Spicy. A little spicy. A little super spicy. spicy. Yes, a super, little yes, right? spicy. Super spicy. I used to I used to uh, buy a hot sauce here that I don't know if you've heard of it before. It, to me it's probably the, the hottest hot sauce I have ever tried. Se llama trompa de chucho. Ah, uh, yes. And yes. 
I used to buy it, right? I used to buy it. It's, it's a little expensive here to buy it here in San Miguel, but I bought it a few times. And I think that that hot sauce has been the, I think, number one. As far as in a level of being hot, spicy, uh, it's very, very spicy. Very, I think you only need like two drops, two little drops, and you're you're good for the whole meal. <laughs> With mango. <laughs> yeah, just one or two, and you're, 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 you're on fire, right? All right. Let's continue with this activity, but first let me do the second second attendance. Let me turn on my other computer here. Okay. Abigail. Abigail. Okay, no answer. Um, Beatriz. Beatriz. I oh, I see you right there. I see you. Okay. Blanca. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Brenda. See you here also. Carlos. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Diana. Here present. Okay, thank you. Edwin. Edwin. Okay, no answer. Flor. Present. Okay, thank you. Francisco. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Freddy's. Yeah. All right, great. Glenda. Present. Okay, thank you. Iris. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Jackie. Present. Okay. Jarvin. Present teacher. Thank you. Jennifer. Present. Okay, great. Juan Jose. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Miguel. Miguel. Okay, no answer. Fabio. Present. Okay, thank you. Okay, Rolando, you sent me a message right here. Present, all right. And Janari. Okay, no answer. Okay, let's continue. Let me see. Okay, we're going to work on the next page, on page 34. Let me share the screen. All right. Okay, here we are on page 34, and this is building vocabulary in relation to brand awareness. Page 34. Can you read for us, please? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Flor. Just g give me a, a moment, teacher, because I'm connecting from the computer. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Um, me, teacher. Okay, go, go ahead, please. From building vocabulary. Yes. Brand awareness is the ability of customers to identify the brand by its attributes. The following are some stages of brand awareness. Match the stage of brand awareness to their description. Okay, just one correction. Jennifer, can you pronounce this word right here? A stage. Ah, stages. Stages. 
stages. Stages. I, Very good. I can't fit. <laughs> oh, yes, you can, right? Stages. Diga stages. yes. Como stages. 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 That's all. Very good. Good job. All right. Okay. Stages. Thanks. All right. So, are some some stages of brand awareness, right? Stages are like like divisions, right? The stages. They are the divisions of uh, brand awareness. Okay, let's look at the stages. Match the stages of brand awareness to their description. So you have five here, and you're going to match them like we've been doing with the other activities here okay let's read only let's read number one and then the next word that is not the correct answer we're just i just want to hear some people read um go ahead flor number one just read it across brand recall customers don't recognize your brand very good continue hello flor i think your microphone Wait. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay. Re recognition. Customers can't recall any brand, but yours, but yours for a particular product category. Okay. Talk of mind. A consumer is able to recall the name of a brand when giving a product category. Okay, hold on. Category. 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 Very good. Category. And number four, brand dominance. The first brand customers can think of for a product category. Okay, <laughs> all right, all right. And number five, unknown brand. Consumers can correctly identify a particular product just with a visual cue. Okay, very good. Now, here we have, Flor just read everything for us. And please determine, try to figure out which one goes where, right? Does number one go here? Does number one go here? Whatever. You decide. And then I'm going to give you a few minutes. Um, you do not have to send it to me, okay? Do not send it to me. Do not. No me la manden, all right? Do not send it to me. Just do it in your notebook. Or in your book. And then I will call on five, on five people to give me the answers. So I'll give you a few minutes to do it.
Okay, is everyone finished? No? Okay, I'll give you a little bit more time. Yes, teacher. Okay, you're finished? Anyone else that is finished? Yes. All right. Okay, let's begin. Number one, who wants to do number one? Brand recall. Brand recall. A consumer is able to recall the name of a brand when given a product category. Okay. The third one. The third one? What do you think, class? Is that correct? Brand recall? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Let me see. Let me put this. So he's saying it's this one. Okay, next one. Consumers can correctly identify a particular product just with a visual cue. Que? <laughs> <laughs> Quay, right? All right. So you're saying that number two is number five. All right. It's right here at the end. Yeah. Okay, next one. Stop. I can I can do it. Okay, go ahead. Right. Top of mind. Yes. The first brand customer can think for a product category. Okay. All right. And then <clears throat> brand dominant. All right, brand dominant. A uh, customer can't recall any brand, but you force a particular product category. Okay. Category. Category. Okay. Okay. And then the last one. Who wants to do the last one? All you have to do is read it. Unknown brand. Customer don't recognize your brand. Okay. All right. Okay, those are the ones you gave me and those are the ones you agree on. Okay, great, great. Now, let's see, look at these right here. Can someone read these please? Um, Freddy's. Yes. Number five, fair word. What brands are top of mind? What brands are top of mind for you, for your classmate? Complete a chart with your own information. Then interview a classmate and compare your answer. Answers. Answers. Very good. Okay, so now we have this right here. Let me erase this. Get this out the way. All right. So here. We have four circles, right? This is, a, this is a group activity. I'm going to put you in pairs, all right? I'm going to put you in pairs. No, I'm going to put you in threes, trios. Now, this is what you're going to do. You're going to come up with different brands in your group, different brands. For example, uh, this is just an example, okay? Um, you're going to complete the information or in your notebook, you're going to write the information in your notebook as a class, as a group. You're going to write what, what it says right here. Can you read it please, Freddy's? What? Yeah, what are samples of ice cream produced locally? Very good. So, what are some of the 
ice cream products that are produced locally, right? and tasty. Okay, now, you gave me three, right? Yeah. Locally, that is correct, right? Locally, right? In some, some different areas, there might be something different, right? Now, since we're talking about brand awareness, we're going to go beyond. Vamos a hacer más de lo que dice el book. We're going to do more than what the book says. So I want you to just, I want you to be attentive, okay? I want you to please pay attention to the instructions. Right. This is going to be activity. Esta sí la voy a tomar en cuenta. All right, activity number 14, right? Activity number 12 fue la que hicimos ayer, the one that we did yesterday in class. Activity number 13 was the one that you gave me the two strategies, right? Que les dije que me lo mandaran eh, to me. That was activity number 13. This is activity number 14. This is a group activity. In three, in three, all right? We're going to be in trios. Okay. Now, Freddy's just mentioned three, right? You said uh, la nevería, right? Uh, all right, very good, right? Some people might add Boston or otros, I don't know if it's going to tell pops there, right? You can, you can add different ones if you want. Right. El paletero. Ah, el paletero, right? <laughs> right. So you can add, I want you to add at least three for number one. Right? For number one, for the first circle. This one for the ice cream is going to be three. Right? Freddy's gave us three, and then some other people have more. You may add Boston, but I want three. Three names. Right? Three names here, all right? Three names, one, two, three. Then you're going to write a small analysis for each one. Digamos, aquí sería Sarita, right? And then on Sarita, I want you to put what is the brand awareness that they do? What strategies do they do to bring you, to get the attention from you? Can someone give me at least one that you can say, yeah, I know Sarita because Sarita, eh, well, the price, the promotion, is it the name, is it the logo, is it the geographics? Siempre están en la esquina, en cualquier calle, I don't know, you tell me, is it geographics? What is the brand awareness? What is the brand awareness, right? Do you see ads on TV? Do you see it on Facebook, right? I want you to give me one. 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 For, for Sarita. Well, yes, one strategy. Sarita, actually, you could find it almost everywhere. Okay, like almost, so, so you're, go, you're going everywhere. to give me, you're going to, okay, so you can say you can find them anywhere. So they're very common, right? Yeah. So you can put they're very common in the territory or however you want to say it is fine, right? It is known, it is popular, however, right? It is sponsored. Whatever strategy you think, van a colocar una estrategia de brand awareness for Sarita. And then the next one was uh, la nevería, right? You said? Yeah. Right. And then you're going to put one for la nevería also. One strategy. All right. Y la, what was the other one? Let's say Boston, right? Boston, right? Boston, give me one strategy for that one. How are they? How are they able to stay alive in the market, right? 
Are they are they able to stay alive? Bring in products. Ah, ahí está. Very good, right? Yes. Now, ya agarraron esto entonces. That is one strategy, right? The product, the, the, the premium product, right? The ingredients, different types of things of that nature. So you give me one strategy of their, que resalta esa, esa brand, right? Makes that brand come out and you're like, hey, I'm going there. Or I go to La Nevería. No, I like Sarita. Why? Why? ¿Por qué elegir una y no la otra? What gives you that, that momentum or that product, that brand awareness to you that says, I want this product instead of this one as a group? That would be for number one. Number two, can you read it, please? This is for... Let me see... Let's call it. Read. Let's call it A. I, I a. can read. Okay, go ahead, Carlos. B. B. What's the name of a computer company identified by a particular fruit? Okay, by a particular fruit. Are there any companies in El Salvador that are that are identified by a fruit? Yes. Okay. What? What? what can you give me one? The Apple Company. Okay, Apple. Any, other, any other? Are there any Salvadorian companies? No. no. Okay, so we are on letter B, only one, Apple. Yeah, Apple. But, aquí no quiero una estrategia. I don't want one strategy for this one. It's only one answer. So you're going to give me three strategies. It's strategy. Yes, yes. Why about, about Apple, right? Ah, no me pueden dar tres estrategias de Apple? You cannot give me three strategies of brand awareness? Yeah. Come on, yeah. you're intermediate, right? You're intermediate, all right? Okay, if you, if you feel que no pueden, then just give me one entonces, all right? If you feel that you can't, Yes. Or, entonces, yeah, yeah. para aquellos que sienten que es mucho, entonces, denme una, entonces, okay? All right? For those of you that feel that it's too much, right? You can give me one then, all right? Letter C. Letter C. I don't know if some of you would rather be in beginner three or intermediate one, or, or you want to be in advance. All right, so let me see. Letter C, letter C. I can't can you... read again. Okay. okay, Carlos, yes, please. Okay, can you explain what a, clean, a Kleenex is? Ah, a Kleenex, right? You're going to give me... <laughs> All right, the, a Kleenex, right? You're going to explain what is a Kleenex, and I want you to explain it in two sentences. Complete sentences, all right? I don't want like a phrase. I want complete sentences. Two complete sentences explaining what is a Kleenex. What is a Kleenex? All right, letter D. Can you read, please? Um, it is. Okay. What's your favorite movie theater? Okay. Can, uh, what's your favorite movie theater? How many theaters do we have in El Salvador? Different brands, different marcas, different brands. Cinemark. Okay, Cinemark. Um, Cinepolis. Okay. I see. Like right that? Is that correct? Yes, I think. Okay. Now you have two. So, what is their brand awareness? Which one would you prefer? Here, uh, this is not. This is not strategies. Here you're going to, as, as a group, you're going to decide which one, 
do you prefer? Which one do you prefer? Okay. Which one do you prefer and why? Which one do you prefer and why? So there's two answers in one. I hope the partner that is going to be with me goes to the theater. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Which one do you prefer, Cinemark or Sinopolis, right? And why? Why? Is one better than the other? What gives you a better, better attractiveness to you? Why? I want three sentences. Complete. Plataformas. Who is that? I'm sorry. Uh, all right. Okay, so on letter D, you're going to select one, and then why? You have to answer this question, why? And then write three sentences explaining why, okay? Why? What, why did you choose Cinemark or why did you choose Sinopolis? What is it that makes you like, yeah, I like this better. Now you're going to be in groups, okay? You're going to be in groups. So come to an agreement, come to an agreement and, and then decide which one you're going to choose. Are there any questions? Any questions? Okay, I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. Remember, you can take a picture of this if you want. And the activity is on page 34, if I'm not mistaken. Page 34. Okay, page 34. Okay, does everyone have the instructions? ¿Ya las tienen, everyone? I'm going to erase it. Yes, I have a teacher. Okay, thank you. Teacher. Mm -hmm. See, it's Kleenex, right? Excuse me? Uh, in the order that you have A, B, C, D, C is Kleenex, right? Yes. Ah, okay. C is Kleenex. All right, let me, let me write it here just in case. Okay? Talking about Kleenex. Okay. Letter C is Kleenex. Okay, thank you for asking. Any other questions? No? All right. Let me clear this. Okay, let me see. I'm going to send this to, to the group just in case, so you can share it. I'm going to give you access to share screen also. So don't worry about that. Let me put this in the group. All right, there it is. So I'm going to put you in groups. Let's see, okay, but where's my notebook? Okay, Blanca, Fabio. Diana, Jarvin, Beatriz, Glenda, Iris, Carlos, Abigail, Freddy, Jackie, Jennifer, Francisco, and Janari. 
thank you for doing the activity yesterday. Okay. Eh, I gave you the corrections. A cada uno le di sus correcciones pertinentes. So I hope you analyze it. And I just want to say something. I want to say something. There were some errors que me llamaron la atención. And I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. There were some errors that were like, hmm. And they were related to third person. Right? Hablando en tercera persona, a lot of you, créanme, me sorprendí, a lot of you had a lot of errors in relation to third person, okay? Or possessive adjectives. Instead of saying their books, you were, or their, and plus the object, you were saying they, right? You were using a subject pronoun instead of a possessive adjective, okay? So I, I analyzed all that, okay? And maybe one day maybe sometime if we have time we can practice a little bit more with when we're talking about third person and maybe the possessive adjectives okay just a little small 20 minutes okay or maybe 10 minutes outside of the of the of the activities relating to the book but it was i was surprised all right i was surprised that there were a lot of mistakes dealing with Present simple, a present simple. We're talking about present simple, third person, okay? Third person. So remember, I just want you to keep that in mind, okay? I'm just giving you the observation, okay? That's that's it. But overall, overall, very good job. Very good job with the usage. Small errors for a few, and some of you did really, really well. So Thank you. Congratulations. I'm very proud of everyone for doing this activity. I know it wasn't easy. Second, no era fácil. All right. So, thank you. Now, let's go with the, with the breakout rooms. I'm going to put you in trios. Okay, let me see. I'm going to. Who cannot do this activity? I think I no la puede hacer. Somebody can tell me if they're driving or they can't do this activity with a with a partner. Let me know, okay? So you can stay with me in the main session. Okay, anyone that cannot do this activity, I think some of you that didn't answer when I called your name, I'm going to exclude you from, uh, you will be in the main session with me. Hi, teacher, please. Okay, you're, you cannot do it, Glenda? Yes, I, uh, I'm not finished my work. Okay, no problem. Thank you for being honest, and that's what I prefer. I prefer honesty. Thank you, Glenda. All right, no problem. If you communicate with me, there's no problem. I will, I will honor that. Okay, anyone else? Alguien más que no puede hacer la actividad en pares, in groups? Anyone else? Okay. Break out rooms. Recreate. Mm -hmm. Okay, going to do it manually. Abigail, Beatriz, Carlos, you're in group number one. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Diana, Francisco, and Iris, you're going to be in room number two. Freddy's, Flor, and Jennifer, you're going to be in room number three. Jackie, Juan Jose, and Janari. 
you're going to be in room number four. Okay, room number five is going to be only two, Jarvin and Fabio. Okay, the other two will stay with me. Okay? Brenda and Glenda will stay here in the main session. Everyone else, you're going to go in breakout rooms. One, two, three. Okay, please enter.
Not only in the neighborhood. We we have to choose only one. Only yes. one, or they are going to choose another one. Okay, teacher, teacher, yes. teacher. Uh, I have a question for you. Maybe it's the I I don't understand, but in the first uh, exercise we have to choose three brands and give and bring you three stra strategies one by one, right? Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. Remember. Remember, I put it on the screen. Yo lo puse en la pantalla, right? I put yes. three. One, two, three. Three brands. And yes. then next to the brand, I put one strategy. One strategy. One strategy. Una para cada una. Okay. Okay? Thank you. So it's... Yes. You're going to do three brands. Well, remember I said it was like Boston, La Neveria, and... and what was the other one? Yeah, okay. and that one, and then you select three, and then for each one, you're going to put one strategy of brand awareness, right? What is the brand awareness? How do you know about La Neveria? How do you know about uh, Sarita? How do you know about Boston? What makes you attractive to them, right? That is brand awareness. Yeah, for example, the Neveria, I have a high price. Maybe it could be because they can bring you a high quality. Ah, oh, right, um, quality, right? You can say that also, right? Better quality, quality brand. It's una, una brand de calidad, right? A quality brand. Yeah, those are different strategies that are used to bring brand awareness, right? It's like saying Toyota, right? Toyota or some other name brand cars, right? You're like, yeah, because of the quality. But if you say like Hyundai or, or Ford, you know, they're not very common and they're known to be like, you, you waste more money trying to fix them, right? Some, yeah. right? That's what, <laughs> that's what the market says. That's not what I say, right? That's what the market says. Eso es lo que el mercado dice, right? Or, there are some cars that you can get a Ford or a Yande that might be better than other cars, depending how you take care of them, right? Depending como uno los cuida también, right? How you take care it, of them. It's like, it's like the Chinese product, right? Some, yeah. Some are not that good, but some are good, right? But some are not. And it depends. So you have three, three products and you have to give three strategies. That was for the okay. first one, right? Okay. Okay. Any other question? Only that. Okay. You you have a few minutes left. All right. Okay. Remember when you finish. Um. I want. One person. No. When you, I want you to stay in a group tomorrow. I want each of you to give me at least one minute each explaining something okay so come on sir okay yes all right that's it okay okay good job okay. continue okay teacher so be ready Thank do you. not send me anything just be ready for tomorrow and i'm going to call on group number one it's going to be beatriz and then abigail and carlos and then speak for at least 45 to seconds to a minute explaining something about what you what you did okay Okay. okay thank you. All right. Thank you for for help uh, help nope. us. I will always help you if you ask me. Right. I will <laughs> always help you. No problem. And I want you to yeah. ask me. Okay. Okay, Carlos. Okay. Hi, teacher. I think Brenda and Glenda can't uh, join to the exercise. I can hear you. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, can you hear me? 
<laughs> yeah, you, you have okay. the, the Yeah, microphone. right. Thank awesome. you for telling me, right? Thank you for telling me, Blanca. Okay, yeah, they're they're uh they're not uh doing the activity in the group. Okay. So oh. what uh what group were you in? Were you with Diana and Iris or were you No with... uh, I, I I can choose. You can choose <laughs> either because I, I you can be with Diana and Iris yeah. or Jarvin and Fabio. Diana and Iris. Who, who, which group would you rather be? Group five with Fabio and Jarman or group two with Diana. Diana and Iris? Okay, I'm going to put you. Diana. There. Okay, I'm going to put Diana you. Diana and Iris. All right, assigned to group number two. Okay, there you go. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, Freddy, Flor, and Jennifer, right? All right, and do, do not send me the activity, okay? What I want you to do is try to get everything done today because tomorrow, when I call your group, your group number two, each, yes. of, each one of you is going to tell me something for at least one minute, okay? In relation to the topics, all right? So I can say, okay, Flor, tell me something about, and then y'all decide, who's going to talk about what all right you decide it's, i'm gonna leave do, it up to you teacher do we have to do a presentation uh not not necessarily all you're going to do is i'm going to call you tomorrow and say okay group two floor freddy jennifer and then i can say okay freddy tell me something that you talked about and then you give me your point and then Flor, okay, Flor might want to talk about the ice cream, right? Freddie might want to talk about the movie. And then Jennifer, you can decide which one of the two, okay? If you want to talk about Apple, the, the, the Apple and the three strategies or Kleenex, right? You decide, you decide what you want to talk about. And then for tomorrow, that's all you have to do, speak. Speaking only. You don't have to- uh, Okay. Talk. No presentation is needed, okay? Just be ready, okay? okay? Easy, right? No complications. All right, any questions? No questions? No. Okay, you have a few more minutes left, okay? Okay. Okay, bye-bye. because are, <laughs> they are expensive. <laughs> but uh, um, if we talk about uh, uh, quality. The quality, it's better, yeah. I love the nachos in, in <laughs> Sinopolis. I love the nachos. Okay. And uh, it limit, it li limit uh, I don't know how to say aderezos. A what? Aderezos. Oh, you're talking about dressing? The, the... Okay, there, there are unlimited uh, dresses? Dress? Dressing, dressing. Dressing? It's unlimited. So, well, oh, before unlimited. the pandemic, right? Because <laughs> I, 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 I really don't have the opportunity to go after the pandemic, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they closed. Know. They were closed. That's why, right. and now they're open again, right? Yeah, but uh, but I I can't. I I didn't. I, I, how can I say? Unwaito. Okay, I haven't gone yet. Present perfect. Uh, I haven't gone yet. So. Very good. Very I don't good. Know. Okay. We have how to send the you the hmm. screen. No, just or, talk. Uh, this is this is the uh, this is the final thing okay there were four subjects right four different things the ice cream the cinema okay out of this group tomorrow i'm just going to call and say okay group number two right uh, or group number three and then diana iris and blanca 
San Francisco because he, he, he's he, gone because he's internet. Okay. So whoever's in this group, Francisco, right? And then, yes, because I only saw two when I put Blanca. So you, you decide what you want to talk about for tomorrow. If Diana, uh, you want okay. to talk about the ice cream, Blanca, you want to talk about the movie, uh, it is you want to talk about okay. clinics or the Apple, because San Francisco, you decide for one minute, that's it, explain yourself tomorrow. Okay. okay. No presentation, okay. no no complications, none of that. Okay. Okay. Easy. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Yes, it's a nothing to clean yes. uh, any surface. Sur then you can use it in your but face. Not only, not only on your face. No, surfaces. Surfaces. Oh, okay. Superficies. Okay. okay. Surfaces. Yes, yes, okay, okay, okay. I don't know. Surface. 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 Yeah. Ah, okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Surface. Yeah, surface. Surface. The other surface is la cara, right? This is surface, la superficie, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes, surface. surface. Okay. Surface. All right. Now, for tomorrow, this is the activity. You will not send me anything, okay? Mm -hmm. You do not send me anything, no presentation. For tomorrow, you as a group, I'm going to say, okay, group number four. Juan Jose, Jackie, uh, Janari, right? You decide. For the Monday. Excuse me? For the Monday? No, tomorrow's Friday. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. I'm confused. Okay. I'm confused. Uh, you thought today was Friday? <laughs> okay. Yes, I, I was thinking about this. Uh, the weekend, yeah. Oh, the weekend is Wednesday or is Friday? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for tomorrow, I'm going to call on the group, and then it's going to be Juan, Jose, Jackie, and Janari, right? You decide. Ustedes tres decidan. You decide. What topic you want to talk about, right? Juan Jose, if you want to talk about the ice cream. Uh, Jackie, if you want to talk about the clinics or the theater. Uh, Janari, if you want to talk about the apple or, or the other. You decide. So I'm going to call on you tomorrow. You stay deciding cuál tema van a tocar por un minuto, for one minute. Okay. okay. One minute for each one. Yeah, I mean, up to one minute, right? Maximum, right? Because there some might be small topics, right? For what is a Kleenex, right? Oh, it's to use for this and that. Yeah, okay. Give your explanation. No más de un minuto, in other words. Okay. 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 If you okay. want to do two and then one one, you can also. Okay. That's it. No presentation or nothing. Only speaking. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank okay, you. No problem. Hello, teacher. Hello. Can you hear me, teacher? Yes, I can hear you, Francisco. I'm going to send you to group okay. number two, okay? Okay, yes, because I have uh, some yes. problem with my internet. No problem, I was. Okay, thank you, teacher. To use? So, yes. I haven't seen that in Napoli, so that's a... <laughs> okay. A oh, hello, Fabio hello. and Darwin. Hello, teacher. Okay, remember, for tomorrow, right? You do not have to send me this, all right? You do not have to send it to me. But if you want to present it, it's up to you. I, I see you already have a presentation, right? Um, for tomorrow... I'm going to call, when I call your group, you are group number five. And I'm going to say, okay, group number five, Fabio and Jarvin, I want you to tell me about what you have here, okay? I want you to tell me about the ice cream, about the fruit, about the Kleenex, okay? Okay. And okay. you decide, you can choose, Fabio, you can choose two topics and uh, Jarvin, you can choose the other two. You decide. Okay. If you want to talk about Cinemark or, or, or in the apple or, or ice cream and clinics, however, 
You decide. I'm going to let y'all decide. Just be ready for tomorrow, okay? To give okay, your okay. speaking. I want you to just speak. Speaking only. Okay? That's it. Okay. okay. All right? Simple. All right, this is <laughs> yeah. You're almost finished. We have about one or two minutes left. Okay? Okay. Yeah, okay. we only have one of the <laughs> left. All right. Great. <laughs> Okay, welcome back. Welcome back. And remember tomorrow we will we will finish this. You're going to give me your speaking skills in relation to product awareness or brand awareness. In relation to whatever you designed, that's what you're going to tell me tomorrow. So I'm going to call you by groups tomorrow. I already uh, wrote it in my in my notebook. Group number one, Abigail, Beatriz, and Carlos. Group number two, Blanca, Diana, Francisco, and uh, Iris. And group number three, Flor, Freddy, Jennifer. Group number four, Jackie, Juan Jose, Janari. Group number five, Jarvin and Fabio. Okay, so be ready for tomorrow. I would like to hear what you have to say. All right, so get ready. I'm going to do the final attendance so we can call it a night. Let me see. Abigail. Present. Thank you. Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Blanca. Present. All right, great. Okay, Brenda. Okay, not here. Okay, Carlos. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Diana. Present. Okay, thank you. Okay, Edwin. Edwin. Okay, zero. Flor. Present. Thank you. Francisco. Present, teacher. Okay, 
Thank you. Freddy's. All right, great. Glenda. Okay. I know you're working right now. I'm here, teacher. Okay, great. Thank you. It is. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jackie. That Jackie. Present. <laughs> there you are, Jackie. Thank you. And let me see. Jarvin. I'm here, teacher. All right, great. Jennifer. Present, teacher. Okay, great. Juan Jose. I am here. Okay, awesome. Miguel. Miguel. Okay, didn't connect. Zero. All right. Fabio. Present. Fabio. Okay, Present. thank you. Rolando. Rolando, he disconnected. Okay, no answer. Put this right here. Okay, Janari. I'm here. All right. Excellent. Okay, in class number 21, 21, um, the person that stays today is Abigail. Okay, Abigail, you stay today. Yes. Okay, great. Okay, class, you have a good, good night, and I see you tomorrow, all right? Tomorrow's Friday, get ready for the weekend, all right? Good night, everyone. Take care. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hello, Abigail. Hello, teacher. Can you hear me? Sure, I can hear you. How are you? Huh? Sorry, this night I, I was kind of busy because I was in, in a meeting of my work, my job. Okay. So I couldn't be completely uh, active. Paying attention. <laughs> I understand. Remember, if you're ever busy, Abigail, if you're ever busy like that, all you have to do is send me a message, okay? And tell me, teacher, I'm in a meeting or something, right? So that way I know that I don't call your name to participate. Right, and, and that way we can stay better communicate. Right, and then you just tell me, like Glenda, right, teacher, I'm I'm doing this. Okay, no problem, right? And then I take notes. Say, uh, you got permission, right? And uh, you you got uh, permission to to not do the activity in class if you're just too busy, right? So all you have to do is tell me, okay, Abigail. Okay. All right. So for next time. Okay. Yes. Right now and. It's just 10 minutes for you. you. You've been here with me before, right? The first time, the first class. Oh, yes, the first class, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have a, if you just want to conversate, speak, vocabulary, or anything that you would like to ask me, I don't know, uh, big, I don't know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know you stay, you stay uh, active, right? You try to be progressive. You, yes. You're thinking of progressive uh, manner. Well, the first thing that I would like to ask you is uh, if you could give me some uh, feedback about my my English skills. Uh, I know that you you have better uh, comment after these weeks in classes. Yes. All right. Now, remember that I do, I try to evaluate your progress every, every module, right? And, and I, like I have told you that I have to do like a, a report, individual report, right? Individual report of your progress. So it can be sent to administration, right? That's a way to see how well the student is interacting, is the student participating, right? Is the student speaking? Is the student doing the activities? Those types of things, right? And on your behalf, and I'm going to be honest with you, okay? Don't be scared, yes. okay? I'll be like, oh no, right? I'm going to be honest <laughs> with you, all right? I already, no, please be honest. I, I already sent 
already sent your report. Okay, you, 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 right? I'm not going to speak about anyone else, just with you. But it's positive. Okay, it's positive. And continue to grow, Abigail. All right. Uh, and you, at the beginning, you were you're doing great. All right. Then you kind of slow down a little bit. Right. And then it's like, okay, I don't hear Abigail anymore. Right. So I want to ask you, Abigail. I had already sent it. Okay. Eso ya lo había mandado, right? Because I sent it after after the first half, and then I have to do the final one at the end. I have to do two. Okay. One in the middle and one at the end. Okay. So the middle one, I already sent it. Eso ya la mandé, right? But on that one, I put that, I have it here, all right? I cannot change it, but I have it, right? I put, um, aplicada, siempre participa y da opiniones en clase because I had to submit in Spanish, right? That's what I put for you, right? And I'm being honest. But now this third week, right? I was like, hmm, right? I don't hear Abigail anymore, right? But I already sent that. Eso, eso ya no lo puedo cambiar, right? I already sent it. But the last one, que voy a hacer al final, Mm. Okay, keep that in mind. Okay, Abigail, you're very smart, Abigail. I know you want to grow, but I want to ask you, now that you're here with me, I want to ask you, why haven't you participated this last few days? Like, I haven't heard you. So you tell me, right? You be honest with me. It's not like, oh, I'm going to put it here, right? No, it's just be, I'm, I'm ethical, right? I'm ethical in what I do, and I like to be professional. So, yes. tell me, Abigail. Uh, yes, teacher. The thing is that in the last uh, two weeks, I have been in, in some interviews because I want to change uh, my job. I mean, I, I'm looking for um, other opportunities. So, uh, some days I I started to uh, previous the class I just finish a technical test or interview interview um, in other days uh, yes I I I have to say that maybe I am kind of tired so I. I just listen to class and that's why I, I don't participate. And, and yes, I, I am aware that my performance has changed and, and my attitude because uh, I, I don't have only one job. I am freelancers also. So okay. uh, more responsibilities and, and it's mean that uh, the time management that I, I should improve also. Okay, now it is, it is good. It is good for me to hear that you recognize, right? Your, you're a little bit of no participation, you just listen and be like, okay, boom, boom, boom. But you were not like that at the beginning. You were like very active and you always had questions and you tried to give opinions, right? If I call on you, answer. But I was wondering, I said, well, I don't know uh, what's going on with Abigail, right? It's like, you're the first in the list, right? Esta la primera en la lista, right? <laughs> So yes, because of my name. Yeah, yeah, because of your name, right? So this is what I would like for you to do, Abigail. I would like for you to at least start, begin to participate. Okay. Like for example, when I ask for opinions or when I ask for someone to read, ¿quién ha estado más activo cuando yo digo que someone read? Who ha, who have you heard? Uh, Jennifer, right? Jennifer, yes. Right? You see? I know. So I keep track. Of, so when I go to Jennifer and say, oh, 
she participates in que yo la llame, blah, 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 and I write all that. So remember, it doesn't, it's not like it affects you or anything, but it, it, it shows me the difference in progress, la diferencia en progreso, right? Some, some people at the beginning were not participating that much, and now, woo, right? Me teacher, me teacher, me teacher, right? No, I can't stop them, right? And some were good at the beginning, and now it's like, mm, right? So let's balance, Abigail. Let's balance, okay? You're better. Usted mejor, right? You're better than what you have been doing this week. And I understand the the consequences sometimes of doing two things and you're trying to do something else that can distract your mind and you start thinking about maybe quizás está pensando en todo eso, right? And not about the class, right? Right? <laughs> right? Uh, you could probably say, yeah, teacher, you're correct, right? You probably like, make, oh, yeah, right? And thinking about the things that you want to do. But all you have to do is participate. Okay, Abigail? I want to hear you. How about that? Yo quiero escucharla. All right? Can you participate from here on out? Yes? Yes, of course. All right, then. Very good. That's what I want to hear, okay? I want to hear you motivated, okay? Remember, you're just a week away. Just a week away, and then you go to the next module, okay? So okay. let's go, Abigail. Momentum, all right? Arranque su motor. Boom, me démosle, all right? I want yes. to hear you, okay? You're very Are you going to be in next module? Mm, I'm, I don't know. They don't tell us. They don't tell us, right? And uh, I don't know if how, how they um, how they do it at the end because they just tell me, okay, Henry, this is your group. Henry, this is your group, right? Like before before I came to you, I had another group, and then a different group, and sometimes it's the same, sometimes it's not. So they they change sometimes. I don't know. Is this your first time, or you had? No, this is my first time. This is your first time. Okay. Yes. Okay. Some. Uh, this is my first time in this class. I didn't teach the last module to this class. Mm, okay. I had another group. So. Yes. Uh, teacher, uh, I only have one suggestion for the English Corporativo. It's about the platform. I think I found different errors with the responses and it was kind of uncomfortable because I was trying to to finish as soon as possible the homework but uh, it's, it, sometimes I I had to ask you about the wrong answer maybe uh, that it took time of, or took uh, time of your so I think it could be a better performance. Okay. Okay. I will. Uh, I will. Uh, was I will write that as a good good suggestion. Okay, Abigail. And and yes, you you are correct. Okay. I'm not going to say no. All right. You're correct, Abigail. There are some mistakes in the platform. Yes. I I can uh, I can agree with you on that. Okay. You as a student, right? And I understand. And I, I I understand what you're saying because you have contact teacher this, teacher that, right? But remember, mm -hmm. I'm I'm here for you, okay? And if there ever is another question about the platform, I can help you. But I I understand what you're what you're saying, and you you you're right. You are correct, okay? The platform sometimes is is a little bit incorrect in a few questions, right? And it will probably be um, corrected. Okay. Okay. Uh, in the coming survey, uh, they ask you about the platform. Or in the in the what? The coming survey. Okay. The, the coming survey. survey. Okay. They they. they if they ask, ask you about the platform, no. Mm, no, I don't think that question is there. Um, I don't think that question is there. Okay. Um, I don't remember that question being there. It's mainly uh, unless they change it, right? Because sometimes it might change 
might be last month was different this month might be different but we will see but the last one it didn't have it right it does have like the performance for me in the in the company right they it has that it has that like on my behalf right did i teach you or was i just right or was i just passing the time right or did i actually teach you? so that that is there and then he asks you just questions that you have to fill in as uh, your information and stuff like that. And that goes directly through Insafor. Okay. Mm, okay. But we will do it together. Okay. And administration will be in the class also. Okay. Ahí van a estar ellos también, right? So they will be there uh, watching, observing, and they're going to be watching me also right so not just you and me right okay. so they supervise me too right they supervise me too so when they enter they want to see if i'm in class right if i'm late right it'd be like hey the teacher's <laughs> in class all right henry right we got you right so don't think it's just you it's also me but we will do it together in class okay Abigail? okay teacher thank you no problem. And thank you for staying the extra minutes. And it was a pleasure hearing from you. All right. And I thank want you. to you okay. I want to smile. All right, Abigail. I want you to smile and be happy. Okay. Be positive. Yes. Okay? Things are going to be better for you. Trust me. Yes. Right. Thank you. All right. Then you have a good night, Abigail. Take care. And I'll see you tomorrow. Yes. See you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Take care. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye.